So we're three minutes away from the base of the volcano. So I also suggest that you start listening from here on out. You don't want to... Okay, so my name is Gemma Cope and I'm one of the owners of Bigfoot Hostel. So the tour starts with a 45 min minute drive out to the volcano. Um, it's about a 45 minute hike to, oh, up to the top of the volcano. We walk around the crater, have a look inside. We give information about the volcano. Well, I'll definitely teach you how to go as fast as you can. Does anyone want to break the record? It's going to be a 45 minute hike up. We're going to make a couple of stops just to make sure everyone's you know, doing well with the boards, okay? Volcano boarding started about six years ago now by an Australian guy called Darren Webb. He came up with the idea and first of all he decided to go down the, the volcano on surfboards, fridge doors, mattresses, anything he could find. And then he came up with the idea of the board that we have now. Uh, Jose has a radar gun at the bottom of the hill, mm -hmm. so the last 100 meters, as long as you don't fall, or if you're not going too slow. You what you don't want to do is you're going 50, 60 kilometers per hour, just like a car, you don't want to slam on the brakes. You don't want to slam on the brakes like this because the board will stop. There's a 41 degree slope as we go maybe halfway, three quarters of the way down, okay? That's going to allow you to pick up a lot of speed as we're going down. As long as you maintain your balance, when you get to that 41 degree slope, it's going to just shoot you all the way down. Uh, the reason why this volcano is also very special is 2001. I do recommend you take a look at this on YouTube. In 2001, a guy by the name of Eric Barone yeah. <laughs> came here to uh, try to set the land speed record. He came up here on a mountain bike and an aerodynamic bike. On this test run, he set the record and he came back up on the aerodynamic bike. He went down this volcano in eight seconds. He went 177 kilometers per hour, which is 107 miles per hour. Right before he reached the bottom, the pressure of the, and the heat of the front tire exploded. He landed 100 yards past the bike. He was hospitalized for three months here in Leon with broken ribs, bones, ligaments. And um, during the time he was hospitalized, someone else came up here and broke his record. Oh. Ready? Three, two. Wow, he's flying. Absolutely incredible. I would oh do it gosh. over again. It was absolutely amazing. Definitely. I could, you can't really predict. I wiped out really twice. Exactly ripped my pan. Tell how it's going to do it again. Look, <laughs> amazing. It was it was a lot rockier uh -huh. than I uh -huh. thought that it was going to be. Bumpier. Yeah.